I became homeless with a family breakup. Everything was going okay in my life, it seemed, one day. And all of a sudden, they stopped going okay. The reason we're in here is because I lost my job. Eventually, I got evicted. Before I was homeless, I looked on it as a problem that I would never encounter, something that would never happen to me. Someone who is in a homeless situation is in a situation. It does not define who they are or what kind of person they are. I have to tell you, when I arrived, I was new in my congregation. I didn't know who the guests were and who the volunteers from the congregation were. It breaks your heart to see that a hardworking family could actually end up in a situation like this. I am always surprised at how loving and open and friendly these people are. It's a great opportunity for hands-on outreach. You don't have to go on a mission trip to do this. We get just as much, if not more, out of it than the people that we're trying to help. It's just a wonderful feeling. The Interfaith Hospitality Network is a partnership among congregations, volunteers, and agencies that gives homeless families the support they need to secure safe, affordable housing and regain their sustainable independence. I was in the military for 14 years and I'd gotten out. My problem that I had was that the skills I learned in the U.S. Army and the infantry don't translate over to the civilian world. I wasn't able to get a job. After a while, we lost our place. The hardest part about being homeless is not knowing if you're going to be able to take care of your family. Families are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population. They have nowhere to turn. Shelters across the country are full. And those shelters that can take families in, often they split up moms and dads. Moms and children go to one shelter, and dads and boys over the age of 12 have to go to another. That's even if they can find shelter. And to think we have congregations, churches, synagogues, and mosques across this country that can make a difference. And what a difference they can make when they open their doors. When they open their doors and open their hearts, lives are changed. That's what families talk about most. You know, we call this the Interfaith Hospitality Network Program. It's a program, but it's about the volunteers who make a tremendous difference in the lives of families. For a congregation to be able to share their facilities, not as a shelter, but as a home to someone, that's really, I think, what the important thing is. That, that's what's meaningful about IHN. That's what's different about IHN. We're providing homes for homeless people, not shelters. To see these people when they come in and when they leave, to see Anne tonight so excited because she got her apartment. You know, you can almost cry right with them because you're so excited for them. I am so happy to say that Anne has mm -hmm. been approved for her house and she great. gets the key tomorrow. <laughs> In a way, it made me feel sad because this is their last night with us. It's very touching. I want to say that I feel so relieved and everybody's been so nice and so helpful. I can't put any better words than that. I, I thank all of them and they're really helping people. I've never seen anything like that before. The Interfaith Hospitality Network gives congregations the opportunity to create an innovative local response to family homelessness. The people coming in and spending their time with us and cooking the meals for us have been a great help. Often when we talk about a program like this, we think about I'm an awfully busy person. I've got a lot of things to do. So when I tell people about why they might want to be part of Family Promise, I'll talk about how it's a chance to live out your faith. On Sunday mornings and in other contexts, we talk a lot about serving God. This is a way you can actually do it. 
I think that IHN takes a big responsibility in these people's lives. So for me to do my little, little part that I can make a dinner come, spend some time with people, feed them, is wonderful. So I feel like it's a minimal effort for such a, an enormous, enormous return. Every congregation only hosts about four or five times a year. That makes an easy job to volunteer for. Once people do it, they really love it and they want to keep doing it. What's so wonderful about the program that it involves so many people, I think it's one of the best outreach programs a church or synagogue can have. You can see how much it means by the outpouring of volunteers, people making food, people coming to have fellowship with the families that are visiting. It's a way that we all kind of band together for a really good purpose. People are compassionate. They want to make a difference. They don't always know how. And so IHN provides a way for people to address a major social issue and make a huge impact in the lives of families right within the walls of their own house of worship. They're friendly. They're giving us the support that we need to keep doing what we have to do to stand on our own feet. Guess what? What? I'm going to start working tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> now I'm going to get a new, now I'm going to go to my new house. Yeah, we're going to go to the new house soon. Oh! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too.